What's up guys, Justin Morgan here, Carved Up, Vegan Muscle, and I am coming at you today with some pretty good news. Uh, they made the announcement a few weeks ago, and I just have not made any YouTube videos to let you guys know, but I was accepted and put on as part of the plant-built powerlifting team for 2015, and I know there's a couple other uh, of my vegan YouTube um, lifting, powerlifting friends that uh, will be joining soon, or uh, at least one, uh, some of the other people I just know from Facebook, um, but um, I just kind of wanted to let you guys know and uh, uh, say, you know, I currently my lifts, my, my uh, I'll, I'll, I'm wanting to compete in the 90 kilo class, so 198 pounds, I got a little bit of weight to drop, um, but I'd already made a video and told you about that. Um, uh, my goals for this competition, currently my squat is at around 425 pounds based on training maxes and my deadlift is right about 500 pounds and my bench is still struggling, still back at 305 pounds. That is a Paul's competition style bench though. Um, I might be able to add 10 or 15 pounds to that with like the touch and go gym type lifts where you just kind of touch it on your chest and come back up. Um, but I, I don't normally do those because we don't use those in competition. Some guys do and, and do really well with them. Um, I use them sometimes when I'm in higher rep ranges, like 8s and 9s. Um, but anything 5 or less, I usually stick to just touch and goes. Uh, <laughs> Paul's <says, laughs> mentioning. Um, so, you know, I'm really happy uh, to announce that. You guys can check out the page and check out some of the other competitors, some of the people going. Lots of... Um, Lots of great competitors, lots of strong guys, um, lots of you know attractive people with all the bodybuilders and powerlifters. There's a lot of um, good-looking people there, and uh, you know people that are really doing a good job of um, spreading the word that you don't have to eat meat to be strong. You don't have to eat meat to grow muscle. You don't have to eat meat to be competitive in sports at any level of competition. Um, but my goals for the uh, upcoming competition for the summer, uh, the competition is June 2nd, I think, or June 4th, and uh, what, whichever one's a Saturday. Um, that will be the day of the competition, and my goal between now and then, um, being that I'm cutting weight, um, I'm probably not going to add quite as much weight to the bar as I would otherwise. Um, so my goals are to add about... I think I said I, I want to take my add about 30 pounds to my squat and my deadlift. So I'd like to see my deadlift get up to around 525 to 535, somewhere in that range. Um, my goals for the squat is to go up to around 455, and um, less less for my bench. Um, so maybe 420, so somewhere between like 415 and 425, 315 and 325. Uh, on the bench press, so those are kind of kind of my goals. They're they're fairly conservative. Um, I don't want to try and set goals that I, I are just unattainable, being that I'm going to be also dropping weight. Um, but I do have you know a, a, a time in between now and then. Um, if I cut around one pound per week or less, even then I should be able to um, be down um, in below 198 um, by um, March. So I'm also competing in a strongman competition that my gym, uh, Christ Strength Strongman Gym, is hosting on, that is March 4th, I think. Um, so, or, you know, somewhere in that, somewhere in that area. So I'll be kind of just following the same juggernaut training system, gen juggernaut training method by Chad Wesley Smith, or my version of it anyways. The, I use his percentages and, and whatnot, and um, I do a little bit more frequency on the lifts than on what he recommends, but... Um, I think he probably would uh, agree with the changes that I made for me anyways. Um, but uh, that's it for today, guys. I should let you guys know I'm probably not going to be doing a ton of videos. Um, as many of you are aware, I am. this is my last semester uh, working on this portion, at least on my dietetics degree. Um, so I will be able to sit for a national exam here uh, towards the beginning of summer. And my course load's a little heavier. Not that YouTube videos take a ton of time to make, but being that I am, um, you know, investing a lot of mental energy into school, I don't necessarily think about making YouTube videos as much. 
I mean, it doesn't take but a few minutes to, to talk on a video and then upload it, but um, it does take some mental thought to consider what I'm going to say and, and that kind of thing and to go through the mental checklist that I make uh, for that and to give just, you know, time and priority to it. So um, between now and then, hopefully I'll make at least maybe one video per week or I'll throw up some training videos um, or something like that uh, so that you guys can see and kind of follow, uh, you know, my ideas on training and, and what, what I do um, for those of you that care about that kind of thing. Um, but if anybody has any questions, of course, I'm still on YouTube. I still am on Facebook and that kind of thing. Uh, so if you were to want to know my opinion for some crazy psychotic reason, um, I would be more than happy to share with anyone my thoughts on you know whatever that may be. But until next time, um, I'm not going to be making quite as many videos is all I'm saying. So you guys take it easy, and I'll talk at you hopefully within the next week or so.